Man, life is so short. Life is so short. It's like a dwindling light. It's like that little star in the sky that just disappears. Life is so precious, it's so short, but it's so beautiful at the same time. God made our lives beautiful, but God said that our time on this earth isn't promised. God said our lives will be short because we already know we have something special up there. Man, I don't know how many times I've seen so many young people who pass away, who go through different things, who, I mean, you don't really understand what they're going through, but they take their lives, they, something may happen out on the street, something simple, a simple argument, turn into a bloodbath. Like, there's so much that can happen. And, you know, life is just unpredictable. That's why I'm here to let you know that it's your time to turn to God before it's everlasting too late, bro. Like, God is the way, he's the truth. He's the ultimate savior that regardless of what happens to you, if you have God on your side, if you have the Holy Spirit, you will be one with God. I'm here to let you know, like this quick, this quick message of this is your time to repent. This is your time to turn to God. And for all my atheists and non-believers, I want to ask you a question. What's holding you back from fully accepting Christ? Would you rather die not knowing God with a chance of not going to heaven? Or would you rather know him authentically? And if you were wrong, then you were wrong. But I'm here to let you know that if you keep holding back and holding back and holding back, your time's going to eventually run out. And you're not gonna have another opportunity. At this moment, you have another opportunity, but that's only because God gave it to you. Every day you wake up, yes, you get to choose to get out of bed, but you don't get to choose to wake up. You don't get that, Sometimes some people, they don't get that opportunity, regardless if they were the, one of the most healthiest people, some of the most clean keto diet type people, live well, you know what I'm saying? Eat well, exercise. Still people that do that on a regular basis that don't get to wake up in the morning. But God saw fit to give you, a non-believer, another opportunity. If you're a non-believer, this message is for you. And I know you know of many other non-believers who may half, half believe, they may believe in God, but they don't fully believe in the truth. You can't fully, you can't, Christianity isn't a lukewarm religion. It's not a lukewarm walk. You have to be either fully in or fully out. You can't have one one foot in and one foot out. If you're a non-believer, I'm telling you this message is for you. But I hope you enjoyed this quick message, this video. Share this with your friends, family, relatives, associates, whoever. Because, man, the stuff I've been seeing lately with all the young people around my age and taking their lives and losing their lives is sad. And you can only hope and pray that people will, people's eyes will open and realize like, bro, it's real. Like, turn yourself to Christ, bro, before it's too late. But I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, God bless.